This is Flambeau Lake, located in the Lac du Flambeau Indian Reservation in northern Wisconsin. We are at the landing on the east side of the lake, at the Lac du Flambeau Campground and Marina. To fish here, you will need to have a special permit, which can be obtained from the Tribal Natural Resources Department, located here. Boat trailer parking is just off to the side in a gravel lot. When you buy your permit, you'll get this paper showing all the tribal lakes. We are here. All lakes with yellow dots require a permit. Lakes with green dots do not require a permit. And red dots have no access for non-tribal members, along with this entire shaded area up here. Our goal is to provide you with the best lake info on the web. We are not professional fishermen, just people who love to fish. And we are so glad you're here. My name's Randy. Welcome to Go Midwest Fishing. Start. All right, let's take a look at our uh, map book there. We are in the uh, Villas area, northern Wisconsin. That's where you'll find this lake. We've got Flambeau Lake. This one's going to be uh, 1,100 acres. And according to this, it's one of the best uh, fisheries in the state, it says. So it's part of a chain of lakes. Uh, you can see up here we got Pokagama, Flambeau, Big Crawling, Stone, a um, bunch of lakes there. And we are right there at this landing. And uh, you see the most of the hot spots are kind of around the Strawberry Island. I got a bay down here and one way up here. So we'll, we'll make sure we hit all those and then find any other ones that we uh, see that look good. Now, thing to note, this is on uh, reservation land, so you do need a special permit to uh, use the boat landing here. It cost me $25. It's a three day permit and it lets you use uh, a lot of the lakes in this area and I will post the uh, paper I got that they gave me that shows you all the lakes that you need uh, permits for that'll be at goldmidwestfishing.com might take me a few days there to get it up there but it'll eventually get up there and if you want one of these uh, map books for yourself they're very helpful you can just go to uh, the links down below I'll have it there you can get 10% off with the code go Midwest Fishing. trophy pike and monster monkeys <laughs> smallmouth bass Crappies, bluegills, perch. Oh, he got one. Bass. All right, been here five minutes and he's already got a largemouth in the boat and he's off. Yeah, about a 12. Yeah, just came off the landing around the corner here and looks like an awesome spot for bass, which apparently it is. That's not cool. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, Junior. <laughs> Stuck in the... Want help? You can bend that branch down long enough to grab it. No. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. broke my glasses. Oh, no. <laughs> you sit on them? Yeah. All right, this is Strawberry Island behind us. We're just gonna do a whole circle around that. We had some, a lot of bites over there, some panfish. I didn't actually get one in. I had a big leech on, I kept stealing it. But uh, this lake is supposed to have monster pike and muskies, so I'm kind of fishing with the bigger baits today, hoping to get a bigger fish. Might not catch as many 
fishing like that, but uh, hopefully we'll get a big one today. Got one. Oh, Red just got one. On the spinner? Oh, oh small mall? Yeah, must have been. I just got a glimpse of it. Man, two poles at once. They just don't quite take it. There he goes again. <laughs> quite okay. Hoping to catch a smallmouth or something. I'm not running out of leeches, I keep doing this. Oh, there's one. It's a big one, too. Must be northern. I couldn't tell. I just saw a big swipe. Something turned and took off. This looks pretty flat and sandy in here. Yeah. If you look right here, it's got a little rock bar coming down. That's what we just went through and it's got that bite. So there's a good place to hold fish right here. I got one. Oh, yeah. It's a big rock bass oh my God. on a musky bait. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> right through the bottom lip. Oh, he's peeing all over you. Look at that. All right, we're coming around the corner here. It's going to get real shallow. Got a nice little shallow bay around here. So, yep, it's coming get up. out of this wind. We're at four feet right here. See how it gets kind of light colored right out through there? Like a sandbar sticking out. Oh, yeah, it looks much calmer in there. God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, you gotta take them when they're hitting. <laughs> Hang on, you're all. Here it goes again. Come on, man. Just the rock bass, anyways. It is, I know it is. But... Oh, got him. Haha. -ha. See? I'm not fishless. It's a big bluegill. Look at that. Not bad. Now I know it's been oh, eating my leeches. It's like, it's, it's, there you I got, got it. Oh, oh, just throw them right out of the water. <laughs> bluegill. You mean a bluegill jump out of the water? Yeah. See, they're not that small, but this came flying out of the water. They're just uh, hard to hook them. So this morning, a big old storm blew through, and it was 4 a.m., just pouring down rain. And so we didn't get out here till a little bit later, about eight or nine. But uh, yesterday it was hot, like 80. Now it's only in the like 60s, so it dropped about 20 degrees. And now it's uh, nice overcast, which I actually like for fishing. And uh, I'm hoping the fish. Uh, yesterday we did real good. We were on Tomahawk Lake and caught a ton of fish. It was just bright and sunny. Um, I'm hoping the, the fish still seem to be biting. So we just gotta find where the big ones are now. How far is it? It's yeah, that bay over there, I think. No. Oh. I'll move back here anyways. Oh! Lost what do we lose? My hat. <laughs> well, yesterday that would have felt good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty bass. Little guy. Little guy. Little guy hit my musky killer. That's a bass killer too, apparently. You're too little to measure. Alright, we left Strawberry Island. Now we are down in this end. This whole bay here is supposed to be good for muskies. Said to run some musky killers right above the weed tops. That's what I just did and caught a bass. So we'll see if there's a musky in there. Got crazy hit the water. Got a bass. My musky killer is killing the bass. There you go. Self releasing. Just the way I like it. That breeze is a little chilly. Yeah. Oh. You laughed when I put my jacket on. Feel to it. Feels good actually. I don't mind it. I'm not that. I'm not cold at Keep all. The mosquitoes away and. I not get sunburn. It's so windy. All right, there's a log sticking out. Here we go. Oh, I'm gonna get snagged on it now. Yep. 
Yeah, Reggie's gonna catch the four inch bluegills. Yep. Just leave them on the line, let them struggle a little bit and track the muskies in. Rip it! Rip it good! There's a bass. Ooh. Yep, that was a half second too long. Oh, ah, whatever. We're still down in the southeast end here. Another bass. Oh, I'm um, got the bass killer on today. We're gonna have to rename this lure. Yeah, it's a, he's a fighter though. Some permanent marker and yep, scratch that. Scratch out. <laughs> musky off. Well, it's a little bigger than the last one. Yeah, oh. oh, that's the biggest one we've yeah. had so far. Uh, 13 and three quarters. Good one too. Yep. Yep. It's a big bass, I think. Holy crap, it's big, whatever. Holy crap. Mm. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm barely hooked. He's got something on his side. There, good smile. <laughs> Try not to step on my stuff. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> ah, ooh, he's got some good teeth. <laughs> He's got something on his side there. Not sure what that is. You are going 16 and a half. There we go. Beautiful yeah. large mouth. Freaking nailed that thing, man. There you go. But we're slowly working our way up to the north west side of the lake. There's a sand point right up there. So we kind of drifted back. We're gonna work our way up and around, but the wind is really picking up and making it difficult. And this supposed to, you can kind of see the brown. It goes extends out a ways. It's supposed to be a musky spot. All right, we're right there at that sandbar, and take a look at that rock. Now that's a rock. All right, let's see if we can read the sign. Please be respectful. Do not climb on medicine rock. All right, I guess it's a uh, medicine rock and it's uh, supposed to be a respected rock. Oh, geez. He hit hard. Oh. Lost him? Yep. Yeah? There's one. Yep, there are bluegill in here. <laughs> Reggie asked if there are bluegill in here. The answer is there's always bluegill in here. There you be. Trying to put Cheetos away. I'm turning everything orange. <laughs> <laughs> Got one? Yeah. Trophy? Yeah. Look at that thing. Beauty. It's colorful. Beautiful fish. Can glimmer in the sunlight. Look at that. Yeah, just like the one I caught. How bright they are. They are. What do you say? Nothing. No. Oh. Hearing things. What's the voice in your head? Fish or weed? I think it's a fish. There's a fish weed. I don't know. I can't tell. What do I got? <laughs> <laughs> It's neither. <laughs> oh, fuck. I must have been scraping the bottom. It's a Strohs. I caught a beer can. No wonder why I was looking weird. Hey, we're almost finished up with this lake here. We're on the uh, far north end now with the uh, dam right there. Uh, it says this is a good spot to fish. Reggie and I fished lots of lakes in this area, so if you want to see another lake right around here, just check out this video right here. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.
Ooh, oh, look at that hookup. <laughs> Dude, it's fighting, man.